I thought it was appropriate that I share my testimony of how I came to the Lord and how I backslid and came back to the Lord. And it says, come to the Lord like a child. And that's exactly what happened to me when I was nine. My dad brought up a tract that said, Jesus loves Jenny. And I was so excited. And I had joy, you know, the kind of joy that you want to maintain, you want to keep. But the world had started attacking me literally from the, May I, the day I made that decision for Christ in 1979. I had visions. I had dreams about people I met. I haven't met all of them. And the Lord had showed me so many things at nine years old. And I am like 49, so it's been 40 years. And I had backslidden. I had gotten caught up in stuff. Um, I worked at a... a R&B radio station. I thought I was on top of the world, but my world was crashing. I had just broken up with a boyfriend that was a Christian, and I thought I figured things out. And I have been a broken person since I made that decision. And I prayed for healing, and, you know, I had a lot of heartache and bad relationships, too. But also... I had some good relationships, and I had somebody help me get back to the Lord in 2001. I had already made the decision to hit my knees. I got back to praying. I started making decisions that were to honor the Lord today. I live single. I am not married. I went through a devastating divorce, but I have not remarried because that's what the Lord called me to do. And I have prayed for a helpmate. So it, it's not as if I haven't asked the questions. I know I'm weak in my flesh. You know, um, I, I started Third Watch in 2007. And it's now a ministry work that we're working on. Um, there was a couple other ministries we worked on, but they didn't happen because of the covid 19th said so third third watch is more like just a way to minister and talk to you guys and and do bible study about end time prophecy because i'm going to tell you a baptist church pastor told me that they do not minister to people about their prophecy of the word of god uh, when it comes to raptures and things like that uh, because this is plainly sim simply put to me that it's a bunch of crazy talk well Guys, let me just tell you, the vision you see here really happens. There are real wonders in heaven that are appearing before us. It's hard to listen to pastors and preachers minister to their church because they want to save their 501c3 from, you know, basically they'd lose their tax exemption if they were to talk about the rapture. And that's the truth. So, um, you're going to meet more and more people who are well, I hope do more as sharing their testimony. But mine was not anything earth shattering. I it's mine happened at nine years old, and like I said, because the Lord said to come like to Him as a child, a childish faith, and um, I'm sharing my faith because I know that I might be able to help somebody. I might be able to minister somebody. The thing is, I was in sin at nine years old. I was already making poor decisions at a, at a, as a nine-year-old. So I needed a Savior at nine. So imagine when a child comes to the Lord, they know that they did something wrong, okay? And I've talked to my cousin who's in the same situation. It's like, oh, what did I do wrong? It, it, we, as our sinners, saved by grace. And that's what makes this ministry so great. Thank you for listening to a little short version of my testimony. I felt it was necessary to share it since I have a um, channel like this. Thank you.